John Gielgud, a luminary of the silver screen, distinguishes himself among contemporaries of his era through a remarkable blend of theatrical prowess and cinematic finesse. His contributions to the acting landscape are etched in the annals of film history, leaving an indelible mark that sets him apart. Reflecting on his body of work prompts contemplation on the unique qualities that elevated Gielgud above his peers during that time. The first encounter with Gielgud's craft often sparks a lasting impression. Whether it was a captivating performance in a classic film or a nuanced portrayal on stage, audiences were invariably drawn to his magnetic presence. For many, this initial introduction served as a gateway to a broader appreciation of his versatile talents. As we delve into the vast tapestry of Gielgud's career, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences connected to this iconic actor. What work of his left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey, and how did it shape your perception of his artistry? Your stories and reflections enrich the collective appreciation of a talent that continues to resonate through the years. We look forward to hearing your anecdotes and insights in the comments below. What is your personal connection to John Gielgud's legacy? John Gielgud, a renowned actor, was not only celebrated for his contributions to the world of theater and film, but also for his strong advocacy for animal rights. In the early 1990s, he aligned himself with PETA, joining their campaign against the foie gras industry. Gielgud, a fervent believer that animals should not be exploited, narrated a video expose on the force feeding of geese and ducks. This impactful initiative led to numerous chefs and restaurateurs removing foie gras from their menus. In recognition of his humanitarian efforts, he was honored with PETAS Humanitarian of the Year Award not once, but twice, in 1994 and 1999. Beyond his commitment to animal welfare, Gielgud's personal life also marked his legacy. His longtime partner, Martin Hensler, who was almost four decades younger, predeceased him in December 1998. This profound loss added a personal dimension to the actor's public image, underscoring the complexity of his life beyond the stage and screen. In the realm of entertainment, Gielgud's voice resonated in notable roles. He lent his vocal talent to King Arthur in Dragonheart and portrayed King Constant, King Arthur's grandfather, in Merlin. Additionally, he provided the voice of Merlin in Quest for Camelot, showcasing his versatility and enduring presence in the industry. John Gielgud's multifaceted contributions to animal welfare, his personal relationships, and his impactful roles in entertainment collectively define a man whose influence extended beyond the footlights and cameras, leaving an indelible mark on both the arts and societal issues. Considered by many as the century's greatest Hamlet, John Gielgud's portrayal of the melancholy Dane stands as a pinnacle in the world of theater. His rendition of Hamlet surpassed renowned actors like John Barrymore, Lawrence Olivier, and Richard Burton, earning him acclaim and recognition as a tragedian of unmatched excellence. Gielgud's mastery of the iconic role extended to both film and stage, making him the sole actor to grace Shakespearean films directed by both Lawrence Olivier and Kenneth Branagh. The impact of Gielgud's Hamlet reverberated beyond his performances. In the year 2000 version of Shakespeare's play, Ethan Hawke, portraying Hamlet, glimpsed archive footage of Gielgud's rendition on a computer screen. This subtle homage speaks to the enduring legacy of Gielgud's Hamlet, recognized as the summit for a tragedian. Beyond the spotlight, Gielgud's multifaceted contributions to the arts include his involvement in iconic films and his enduring influence on the portrayal of Hamlet. His legacy remains etched in the annals of theatrical history, a testament to his unparalleled talent and the lasting impact of his portrayal of the brooding Danish prince. Awarded the 1982 London Evening Theatre Awards Special Award for Lifetime Achievement to the theatre, Gielgud's impact on the stage transcended his iconic roles. His contributions extended to Prospero in Prospero's books, a character later reimagined as Prospera, played by Helen Mirren in The Tempest. Gielgud's enduring presence was exemplified in the character Hobson from Arthur, a role he reprised in Arthur on the Rocks. Mirren later stepped into the character Lillian Hobson in Arthur. Remarkably, Gielgud remained dedicated to his craft, acting until his passing at the age of 96, leaving an indelible mark on theater and film. A testament to a lifetime devoted to the stage, his legacy continues to influence and inspire. Acknowledged, 
Here's a concise article focusing on the selected topic. Possessing a voice that wooed the world, John Gielded's mastery of Shakespeare's verse earned him acclaim from none other than Lawrence Olivier. Olivier, while critiquing Gielgud for veering towards song-like delivery, couldn't deny the captivating allure of Gielgud's vocal prowess. In 1986, Gielgud's lifetime dedication to the theater was honored with the Lawrence Olivier Theater Special Award. This recognition, bestowed during the 1985 season, celebrated Gielgud's exceptional contributions to the stage. Remarkably, Gielgud's acclaim wasn't confined to his early years. All of his Oscar and Emmy nominations came later in his career, post the age of 60. This late career recognition highlights the enduring impact and versatility of Gielgud's talent. Whether it was his captivating voice, lifetime achievement accolades, or late career acclaim, John Gielgud's influence on the world of theater and film was profound and lasting. His legacy, marked by Olivier's acknowledgement and prestigious awards, cements him as a true titan in the realm of performing arts. A three-time Tony winner, John Gielgud left an indelible mark on Broadway, gracing its boards 15 times as a live performer between 1928 and 1976. Surprisingly, he never clinched an acting Tony Award despite two nominations. His directorial prowess, however, earned him recognition, securing the 1961 Tony for Best Director with Big Fish, Little Fish. Gielgud's impact extended to a 1959 special award for his insightful one-man play, Ages of Man, showcasing his profound understanding of Shakespeare's writings. Notably, in 1936, Gielgud's Hamlet triumphed over Leslie Howard's rival production on Broadway, marking a pivotal moment in his illustrious career. Despite Broadway acclaim, Gielgud's journey in the theater world was as dynamic and multifaceted as the roles he portrayed. One of only 15 individuals to achieve an EGOT, John Gielgud stands among entertainment legends like Richard Rogers, Helen Hayes, and Audrey Hepburn, having earned an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. Gielgud's versatility and excellence across various entertainment platforms solidify his status in this exclusive group. In addition to his EGOT status, Gielgud's profound understanding of Shakespeare's works was evident in his directorial role for Richard Burton's Hamlet. William Redfield, who played Guildenstern in the Gielgud-directed stage version, noted Gielgud's encyclopedic knowledge of the play. Gielgud's ability to play any part from memory showcased his deep connection to the iconic work. Moreover, Gielgud played minor roles in consecutive Academy Award-winning Best Pictures, Chariots of Fire, and Gandhi. His subtle yet impactful contributions added to the success of these cinematic masterpieces. Whether it was conquering the EGOT feat, directing Shakespearean classics, or contributing to award-winning films, John Gielgud's influence and legacy resonate across the realms of entertainment, making him an enduring figure in the industry. As we bid adieu to the cinematic tapestry woven by the venerable performer we've just explored, I encourage you, dear reader, to let the echoes of these narratives resonate within your own reflections. Whether it be the poignant moments etched into the frames of timeless classics, or the subtle nuances that dance between the lines, there exists a profound tapestry of connection between you and the artistry we've traversed. As you take a moment to ponder the imprints left by this luminary on the stage and screen, I invite you to share the whispers of your thoughts. What memories linger in the recesses of your cinematic journey that bear the indelible mark of this remarkable actor? Unravel the threads of recollection and let your voice join the chorus of those who've been touched by the magic of storytelling transcendent through the vessel of this exceptional artist. In this collective contemplation, we not only celebrate the oeuvre of a thespian par excellence, but also affirm the enduring power of narratives to shape our own narratives. Your reflections become a part of this ongoing dialogue, a testament to the enduring resonance of art and its ability to forge connections that span time and space. As we part ways, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for the time you've devoted to this shared exploration. Your engagement, your memories, your reflections all contribute to the rich tapestry of appreciation for the indomitable spirit that is actor John Gielgud. May the legacy of this luminary continue to illuminate the realms of entertainment for generations to come. Thank you for your time and your thoughtful reflections.